Hi, I'm Josh Ackman with Park Industries Customer Service Department. On this video, we're going to show you how to resolve a 700,033 vacuum water flow alarm. Um, to start out with here, you want to make sure down here you have good incoming water pressure. Make sure your valve is on. From there then, this line comes over to your Y strainer here. And in this Y strainer, you can remove this nut and that is a screen that you need to clean and or replace if it gets real bad there. From there, we come into our water filter. We wanna make sure our water filter is turned on. There are directional arrows telling you which way to turn for on and off. And then from there, we have our filter. Make sure your filter is clean, that water can actually flow through it and replace if needed. Now it comes out your filter and comes back here towards the vacuum pump. This side on this 3000 series Titan, this side is your inlet water here. If you want, you can take this off and make sure you have good water flow up to this point, And then you know your filter and Y strainer are good. Another thing to check is to remove this fitting and behind there is a screen, an optional screen. You can remove that screen. Park does not require that screen to be in there because of the other filtration going through. So you can remove that or clean if you find that that screen is clogged. Then we'll just work our way down the line here. This is your on off valve that turns the water on to your pump. You can have, you can remove these four bolts and you can see inside there, you may have an issue with the with it going through the ports, the water there, and clean that out if needed. If there's an issue with the on-off valve, we can manually turn that water valve on so that you don't get the alarm, you just get the valve turning on, and then you can check your water flow. In a little bit here, we'll show you how to turn that on. Working our way down line here, if everything else is good up to that point, on this gauge, you should be getting two to five PSI on your gauge here for your supply water. This will regulate the water flow and tone it down to what is needed to run this vacuum pump. If you have a clog on your regulator, on the bottom side here is a nut and then behind that will be a needle and a seat that are together that if that gets stuff can get wrapped up in there if you have dirty water lines then that can clog now here's our vacuum pump flow switch this is what's telling us we have no flow we can take this out also and clean that up if if we have good water flow all the way up to this Coming from here then, you can disconnect this line. We'll show you in a second how to manually turn on that on-off valve, and you can disconnect this line to see if you have good water flow. The last thing to check if none of these seem clogged is your discharge line from your vacuum pump here, and making sure that this is not pinched off and is open and you have good water flow going through it. So. We'll go back up and show you how to manually turn on that on off valve. Come back to your screen here. X out of our alarm. We'll click on our info tab and the park industries tab down here. Here are our outputs that we can manually turn on and we are just looking for vacuum pump water supply. It's false because it's turned off right now, so we just click it, that'll turn to true. And then you will see here that this LED should turn on 
for you. If it does, you know you're getting power to that valve. If you're still not getting any water flow out here, then this valve is the problem and it's not turning that on. Turn that back off when we're done here. So that's the process of how to troubleshoot a vacuum water supply alarm on a 3000 series Titan. As always, if you have any questions, give our customer service department a call and let us know and we'd be glad to help. Thank you.